Good evening, everyone. Hope you had a good Christmas and that you have a safe and happy new year for 2023. I know it's been a while since I posted any new videos about products, but yesterday I got a product in from Primary Arms. And I posted some pictures of it in comparison to other lights. That would be the Surefire X300 Turbo. And here she is. She's a fine light. Barking out with 66,000 candela out the front of the bezel. Today, I'm going to show you that she fits in holsters. And for the X300 Ultra, I had some questions in my DMs regarding this. When it came to... Does it work? Do I need to buy a new duty holster or do I need to buy new Kydex holsters? I'm going to answer that. I'm going to use my Glock 17. That has the RMR on it. This weapon is clear, as you can see. Nothing in it. Trigger is now dead. I like the A because it doesn't have a screw. And I can remove it that much easier. So I've got two different Kydex holsters and two different duty holsters to show you. Let's first start with the duty holster. Here is the Safari Land 6360 RDS, the red dot sight holster. Okay. I have the optic cover removed. This fits very easily. Now there is a slight difference in bezel diameter, or bezel width. Okay. Works fine in the 6360 RDS. 6354. RDO, our correction, 6354DO. There we go. Perfect. Kydex holster number one. Bravo Concealment. It's a little tight. Just have to worry about the retention. Just a tad on that one, which I'm actually not worried about because in a fight, you're not going to worry about it. Cascadia Concealment. This one is an adjustable retention holster. As you can see the rubber grommets, you can tighten or loosen these to adjust your fit. This doesn't have the pop retention, the click, like the other does. And I'm okay with that because this one still is not coming off. And there you go. So as you can see, it fits all four holsters. All four. So this light has turned out to be a great little light in the 24 hours that I've had her. And she fits my needs and she fits my holsters so far. So as a duty weapon light for a, for a pistol, a service weapon, um, you can't go wrong as an upgrade from the X300 Ultra. I would highly recommend you checking it out my recommended places to purchase this from raven tack mn get a hold of either me or nick um big tex ordinance ike or jake indoor uh, primary arms that's where this came from 
More tests to follow in the light comparisons. Stay tuned for that. There will be video and photos coming in January. Thank you, everybody. Be safe. Vest up. Watch your six.